So yeah, we're, 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 we're consistent, um, we're made up of residents and citizens. Last fall we planted over 13,000 daffodils, we paid for them. Uh, we got a bunch of them from the city, and we got volunteers together and planted these last fall. They're all coming up now, which is wonderful. And we're going to have uh, Daffodil Day on Sunday, which we're inviting everyone here to. And with the 13,000 daffodils coming up, it's going to be amazing. Um, but that was just the start. We wanted to really push it even further. We want more, more colorful uh, flowers, perennials, these annuals, more texture. Uh, right now, the boxwood, uh, boxwood hedge is it's not looking as green as it should. Boxwood also has a smell. It smells like a litter box, which I didn't wasn't familiar with it until it was planted. Um, it's just the natural smell of the plant. So when you go in those beds, it doesn't smell so nice. Um, and it's uh, it's one of these things you learn as you as you uh, plant these gardens. So my background is landscape architecture, and I was very interested in when in the design of these parks and the pathways, the railings, the fountains, the pergola, uh, the planting. Again, it was, I wasn't really pushing for a crazy planting because anything was better than the highway. So, so they're about seven years old now and we'd like to, to bring them up, uh, bring them up a notch. We love the fountains, we love the pathways, we love the lawn. Uh, the pergola can do some work, but it's, it is what it is, um, and everyone seems to enjoy this space. And the horticulture, um, it's nice, but it, it could definitely use a little bit more. Uh, we're inspired by Adrian Bloom. He's a horticulturalist, world-renowned. Uh, he does these sweeps of color. They have more of a more organic uh, orientation instead of the, the uh, formal design. The North End Parks, the, the flowers are in blocks. And they flower um, for a few weeks, a bunch of the blocks, and then, um, and then they're green or whatever throughout the rest of the year. In the winter, most of the boxwood beds are cut to the ground. You just have a mulch bed to look at. We want a, a four season colorful, uh, there's plants you can use that are colorful all year long. And they add interest. We want to add grasses. Uh, these are some examples of Asian plumes designs. Using hostas, some uh, red twig dogwood, other, um, so you can see it's almost like painting with plants. We have supporters. We have Mayor Menino, Mura, Lunik, Ruff, MPAC, Beautification Committee, 
Chamber of Commerce and the Zara Center and Friends of Christopher Columbus Park, Garden Club Federation of Massachusetts, and the Greenway Volunteers. And uh, Daffodil Day is going to be coming up. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be the first annual Daffodil Day. And uh, we're hoping to do Daffodil Day now, um, continuing every year. So, uh, so the friends really care about these Greenway parks. And we would really love to work with the, with the Greenway Conservancy and, and really make these parks better than they are.
that the, um, the shade is something that can be more instant than a beautiful garden like that. And so we'll, we'll fix that some time. Yeah. Would I just um, point out too that, you know, the Conservancy Board is managing changes and growth as people come and go. So, I mean, I don't, I hope people don't look at it as some sort of monolithic, you know, organization where there's this group and they're on this side of the fence, and then there's this group on this side of the fence, and we're, the, you know, the, it's, it's, it's not that, certainly not that now. I can't speak to the history. I was on the board uh, a year ago. In fact, I wasn't on the board five months ago. <laughs> uh, so um, I would just suggest that, you know, I, I have found people to be open minded to these types of discussions. Obviously, I haven't got my hands around everything. Three or four months of being on the board, other members probably feel the same way. I found the current city members to be open minded to things. Uh, so I would just suggest that to the extent there is any past history that people feel <coughs> unhappy about or whatever, that I think recent legislative changes and changes to the board are an opportunity to reboot. And I would submit that it doesn't mean just rebooting on our side, it means rebooting all the way around and being open minded <coughs> and understanding that people are willing to communicate and work together. That's all. Please pick up the dad and go on your way out. Oh, They'll be on the table. Thanks. 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 Than